check this out guys this suite that i am in right now is just 58 dollars the moment i saw this place online i knew i had to do a video on it i'm going to tell you all the cool stuff about this place and it's right near a bunch of the action here in las vegas but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to try to figure out and take a guess where I'm at. So I'm in a building right now that is 64 rooms. It's a boutique hotel. Now this hotel does not have a casino, but it is very much part of a property that does. And a lot of you guys know this hotel and casino I'm talking about. But this room I'm in is a suite that I got for $58. It's got a queen size bed. It's got a sofa big enough for at least three people. It does have a nice chair in the corner you can use. It has a pull out chair with a desk space for you business travelers. It has the mini fridge, your typical safe that comes with rooms, two complimentary waters. And when I checked into this place, the front desk, they asked if it was my first time staying here. I told them it was, and they gave me this voucher here that they call a complimentary virtual fun book, which means you get $5 dining certificate, $5 in free slot play, $5 blackjack match play, you get free domestic beer, glass of house wine or well drink, you get $10 off a full body massage, and this place has a shuttle that goes to and from the airport complimentary. And uh, if you guys wanna watch anything when you're in this suite, don't worry, 42 inch plasma TV. Welcome to the most important part of any hotel room in Las Vegas, the bathroom. So toilet here, they have a low flow toilet. So you got two options for when you flush, that's important. They have two sinks available. So if you're staying here as a couple, they got the him and her sinks. They do have the marble throughout and they have a nice big shower. This shower, man, I'm a big guy. And you guys can see this is more than enough just for me. So bathroom is plenty clean, plenty spacious to go along with the rest of the suite. Room tour done, let's head out. Now before we head out, this lobby area when you guys come in is unique to say the least because they have two separate lounge areas when you come in here. They also do have a check-in desk so you have staff here to help if you have questions. They also have a fitness center here, which mostly has cardio equipment. So your treadmills, ellipticals, bikes, stuff like that. They do have a scale if you wanna check your weight while you're here in Las Vegas. And they also do have one uh, workout machine you can use. You can actually do some weights, lift some weights, get some blood pumping in your body. Now, an added safety feature they have in this building too, is that you have to actually have your room key, not just to get into your room when you're in here, but to get into the actual building itself. That's an added security feature they have. So only people who are registered guests with a valid room key can even enter the building. question um so i don't hear they have a deal where if you bring like your boarding pass after you land don't they give you like a free drink we need your boarding pass your id and okay. then they have a player's card with us i do have the player's card okay and good. then it's a so free drink 25 match play you can win like is it up to a thousand dollars in the free, free play, play. It could be ten up to a thousand for the free play ten up to a thousand yeah you Ooh. have to bring your boarding pass Okay, not my phone or the paper yes, is fine. Yeah. Okay. okay, well I don't have a boarding pass, but anybody else, <laughs> anybody else flying in, I'll be sure to let them know. Because it's a, it sounds like a pretty awesome deal. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, we are at the El Cortez in downtown Las Vegas. The part that I'm staying in is called the Cabana Suites. It's truly just across the street, but it is part of the El Cortez property. I'm hungry and we're going to eat right now inside Siegel's 1941. This is the only actual restaurant they have in this hotel and casino. They have a subway that's 24 hours, but if you want to actually have a sit down meal, you have to come here. Siegel's 1941 combines two important pieces of history for the El Cortez that many people don't know. 
1941 is when this place was built. And the part about seagulls refers to Bugsy Seagull. Many people think about Bugsy Seagull as being involved with the Flamingo when he first started in Las Vegas, but he actually was one of the owners who bought El Cortez in 1945, before he went over to the Flamingo in 1946. Once you come in, you're gonna get sat at a table or a booth. The menu they're gonna give you is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Anything on the menu, you can order any time of day. So they have your typical breakfast foods, your lunch, your dinner, salads, desserts, all sorts of things. During the week, they're open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And on the weekends, they are open 24 hours. The other thing about this place is they can hold just over 200 people. So if you're a large group, they can definitely accommodate you. <laughs> All righty, guys, I got the prime rib special. This is the one that they like to promote the most. You'll see throughout the casino, eight ounces of prime rib. So half a pound with mashed potatoes and gravy or French fries, or you can get the vegetables to go along with it. This is one that is the special that they like to offer. I like the look of this. If you guys know me, you know that I am a big protein eater. So I love this kind of thing. Look at that, done. Prime rib was awesome. I enjoyed it, every bite of it. I even ate the veggies. Hey, give me credit guys, I ate all the veggies. The mashed potatoes and gravy were good. I just don't eat a lot of carbs, so I had enough. I'll tell you guys I enjoyed it, but I'm not gonna eat all of that. But $16.95, the prime rib special here at Seagulls 1941, go for it. Right across from Seagulls 1941 here at the El Cortez inside the parlor bar. Now, this bar is pretty small, it's intimate, it's got a real cozy, cool vibe to it. Now, you can get your typical beers and you can grab a shot here if you want. There is video poker, you can see gaming at the bar top. They have enough seats that you can have a decent sized group come in here. They have a large TV in the corner if you want to watch sports that are on. It's first come, first serve when it comes to seating. Also, in this corner right here is a little bit of history. You know, some of you might remember Tony Shea, who's the founder of Zappos, who's huge in the downtown project and helping rebuild downtown Las Vegas. They have a plaque dedicated to him here because this was his corner where he used to like to come and sit when he would finish work in downtown almost every day. He would come here and hang out. Because we're in downtown, the casino floor here is not gonna be like what you're gonna see at the mega resorts over on the Las Vegas Strip but you're gonna have your fair share of options when it comes to gambling in here. So if you wanna play slots, you got a choice. If you wanna do table games, you can do that. You can also place your sports bets in here. Now the sports book here is smaller, again, compared to lots of the other major properties. However, one cool thing about here at El Cortez is as far as downtown properties go, this is one of very, very few places you can still place bets on horse racing. I'll give you guys another cool piece of history about the El Cortez. So one thing that hardly anybody knows about this place is there are the ashes of numerous employees in the basement of this building. Now, some people might hear that and they might think that sounds kind of scary, but actually it was a very giving and generous act on the owner, Jackie Gone. Jackie felt that the employees here were not just employees, but family. So if an employee passed away and they did not have enough money to afford a funeral, Jackie would pay for the person to be cremated and they would store and would store the ashes here if the person had no family to give the ashes to. When you're looking for a cool spot to take photos here at the El Cortez, be sure not to overlook the parking garage. You come up here to the fourth floor, this spot right here actually gives you a good, a good shot to get two different things in the background. One, the D, hotel and casino in the distance. The other, the sign here on the El Cortez. So you have two different shots you can get while you're facing west. If you decide to face east, which you have over here, 
is an option to see deep into the entire east side of the Las Vegas Valley. You can see some other hotels and casino properties out this direction, but you can see all the way to the mountains when it's nice and clear. Now, whoever's taking your photo, if they want to get a little bit better shot, you can reach your phone over the edge here, but just be careful, make sure you don't drop it. <sighs> okay, let's talk about the cons and the pros of staying here at the Cabana Suites at El Cortez in downtown Las Vegas. So I'm going to start with the cons. We'll end with the pros. We'll end with this on a good note. Now, the cons of staying here, to give you guys a full rundown, uh, like just about any place in Vegas, the full room price with the fees. So this place was $58, found it um, cheap on El Cortez's website on a weekday. And, you know, you add in about 23 bucks or so for the amenity fee, they call it, which is basically their resort fee, plus some taxes, uh, plus some fees and stuff like that. You're looking at about $92 for the room is what it was. So you are going to have those fees added into the price of just about anything. Uh, location. So this one's going to be pro and con. I'll tell you the con of the location here. So the con of the location here is that where you're at in downtown Las Vegas, you really don't want to go north of here. If you start going north, the neighborhood's not so nice, then it's more run down. That's where you'll find a large amount of the, um, or a sizable amount of the homeless population living, like once you get on the other side of the overpass and that sort of thing. So you don't want to go north a whole lot. There's some cool stuff like the Neon Museum and things like that that you can do, but you will notice the area is definitely more run down than lots of other parts of Las Vegas. So people generally not going to want to go down there, particularly at night. Uh, other con to the place, there's only one restaurant in this property. So it's not a huge property, right? You're not staying at a massive spot on the strip. There is only one actual restaurant, but you're in downtown here. You have plenty of other places that you can just walk to, but nonetheless, there's only one in this property. Other thing that's a con, there's no pool. There's no pool here. So if you like the pool, um, if that's important to you, you may want to check somewhere else. No nightlife options in this spot, really. So they have a couple bars, they have their lobby bar, but as far as like, you know, entertainment stuff at night, you're not going to find a whole lot. Again, you're right here in downtown, so that's really not much of a problem. And then other one, there's no real view from this room. <laughs> when I got in here, that was one of the things I noticed in this room. Uh, it does. It looks north, and there's really not a whole lot to see north. And actually, about 75, 80% of the window is frosted, where you can't even see out of it. So I'm a tall guy, and I could get on my tippy toes and actually see out the clear part of the window, but there's not much to look at from here. I mean, there's... a Empty lot, they used to have some bad looking buildings on it that have now been torn down, but there's really not much of a view to speak of. Talking about the pros of staying here at the Cabana Suites. So one of the biggest pros is the location because you are in downtown Las Vegas. You're just one block north of Fremont Street. So you do have lots of activities around you here, whether you're a single person traveling by yourself, whether you're a couple or whether you're a family, you do have choices for the daytime and the nighttime because you're right near Fremont Street. If you like some history stuff, you can go up the road to the Neon Museum, the Old Mormon Fort, um, at night, you can bar hop. There's plenty of restaurants you can go to. They do have, of course, all the street performers on Fremont Street. You can take the kids to Container Park. You have several different options for swimming pools. There are different tours around here, scooter tours, Segway tours, and stuff like that. So you do have fun stuff that you can do pretty much for, you know, any demographic when you're here. Speaking of kids and family, though, one thing to keep in mind for this property that a lot of you are going to like, this is a 21 and over hotel only. They do not allow children to come stay at this property. So for those of you that really want to be away from the kids, this is a place you can come because there's really not much in this hotel and casino offered for children. So 21 and up, this is your place to be. Uh, one cool thing here that I didn't know about until I actually booked the room and was checking in was they actually guarantee, so they guarantee your room to be ready by 2 p.m. That's what they say. 2 p.m., your room will be ready. But you can check in as early as 10 a.m. and there's no early check-in fee here. Now your room, understand your room isn't guaranteed to be ready until 2 p.m. But if you come at 10 a.m. and your room is ready, hey, you can go get in your room and they don't charge you anything extra for it. If the room's not ready by 10 p.m. or 10 p.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., you know, you can leave your stuff with the bellman or just come back and check in later. But by 2 p.m. it's guaranteed, but you can check in early if the room's available for free. Now, Another cool thing that I think is absolutely awesome here is showing your boarding pass. So you show your boarding pass, you get that free drink. You also get $25 in match play and a chance to win up to $1,000 in free play. So anywhere from 10 to 1,000 bucks. They also give you the little um, 
voucher for like the fun book to get some discounts when you go to dinner and stuff like that when you're here to get a free drink so that stuff is cool as well free parking for guests who come here yes free parking for guests if you're staying at the hotel or if you have your player's card they do check um and when you come to the parking garage here you show them your player's card i did it twice let me just go on in and park for free so you don't have to worry about getting charged an arm and a leg for parking coin slots they do have the old school coin slots here i played some last night i won nothing but hey that's how it goes sometimes. Also, they do have an added security measure here where they give you a color-coded wristband. So depending on which tower you're staying in, they give you a wristband based on that color and the security at the entrance will check for that wristband to make sure that you belong, you know, your room is in um, that particular tower. Also, I'd like to advertise that they have the best blackjack odds. Uh, the f slots here are 30% looser. They also have a barber shop and a massage, a spa for massage on property. I did the massage once here, um, I don't know, months ago. I just came on my own. It was okay. Middle of the road kind of massage, I would say. There's cool um, artwork all around downtown, particularly for the murals you see all around the area. You can walk the, the neighborhood and see. And fun fact, this hotel is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. So would I stay here again? Yeah, I would. If you're coming here to, to Vegas downtown and you, know, you want to take that free shuttle they have every day from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. from the airport, it's a great deal. Definitely, this is a bargain spot. You definitely can get your money's worth staying down here. It's a very budget-friendly option. If you like downtown especially, if you're a budget-friendly kind of person when you come on your vacation, this is definitely a place for you to stay.